rejoicing a big accomplishment. These George Mason University students crossing the finish line as the last class to enter the pandemic and come out on the other side. I do not worry about your success. I celebrate it because you were built for a time such as this. Delivering the commencement speech is Governor Glenn Youngkin, putting aside words of politics for more words of encouragement. You are breaking barriers, designing your futures, and exemplifying perseverance. But no matter what he says, his what presence on the podium is enough for some out of thousands to protest. From booze to students on the floor and on the stage holding signs, from turning their backs on the governor to walking out during his speech. His political views just don't uh, align with um, the betterment of the diversity at Mason. Like Jason Motley, Students Against Yunkin as the speaker says his policies don't represent the university. They're against his stance on how race and history is taught in schools and policies concerning transgender students. My big thing is just ensuring that Mason students in, at large feel safe, heard, protected, and he does not ensure that. But Joe Szymanski of the GMU College Republican says the demonstration does not reflect the class as a whole. Most of our university, as I expected, was there and sat and listened to the governor you know, we have a lot of people who scream and they shout and that gets them the most attention. Uh, that's not the general uh, how people work. In a statement to WSA 9, a Yunkin spokesperson says the governor will continue to deliver for Virginia, preserve and protect free speech and praise the many accomplishments of GMU grads. Matthew Torres, WUSA 9.